Hiya, are you alright? I've just got in. I've been shopping. I hate shopping. Hate it. I wish someone else in the house would do it, but they won't. So, I've been shopping to put away. I haven't cleaned up yet, but I'll do that in a minute once I've put this dinner in. So, I want to make like a Moroccan one pot. I'm using pork shoulder because it's cheaper. You can use pork, beef or lamb. I'll put the ingredients on at the end because I don't actually know what I'm going to put in it yet until I do it. So let's get some meat chopped. I've bought my pork shoulder as a, a piece, as a joint, because it's cheaper that way. You can buy it already diced, but you're paying for someone else to dice it. So I buy it as a joint, but you can buy it diced. I'll let you know how much in a second. So here's my pork. There, I've chopped it up. I've got almost one and a half kilos. Pop it into a dish and we're wanting to dust it with about two tablespoons of paprika. Now get your hands in because you want all that pork coated. Now if you're going to use another meat, if you're going to use beef or if you're going to use... Let's just pull it on. It's a bit better. If you're going to use beef, use a beef brisket or a beef shin. You want a slow cooking meat. If you're going to use lamb, go for the lamb shoulder or stewing lamb, stewing beef. If you're going for pork, go pork shoulder, because it's a slow cook, it's going in the slow cooker. Now once all your meat's coated in the paprika, we're just going to fry it off just to colour it. It's not going to do anything other than that, we're not cooking it, we're just colouring it so it looks better at the end. I've just put a tablespoon of oil in the pan. Turn it over once it's browned. You want some nice colour on there. When it's done, set it aside. And do you see all those lovely gnarly bits on the bottom of your pan? Get a splash of water from the kettle. Hot water. There's all flavour on the bottom of this pan and we want to keep it. So just loosen it all off with a spoon. You don't need much water, just enough. And just pour that liquor into your slow cooker. So add to your liquid one teaspoon of cumin. Now you need some harissa. If you follow me, you know I've always got a jar of this in the fridge. Um, this one's smoked chilli harissa. I haven't seen this one before. It's just in Tesco's. It's on the top shelf above the spices. But it can. It doesn't have to be smoked chilli harissa, any kind of harissa. Um, and one that they do is a rose harissa. That's nice. As long as it's harissa and this keeps in the fridge, this is good to marinate your meat with. It's good put in burgers. And it isn't hot. It's, it, this might be a bit spicy because it's chilli harissa, but it, it's more tasty than heat. Um, but it is nice and all the work's done for you. There's lots and lots of spices already in there, so you don't have to do any work. You want a good tablespoon of this into your liquid. Just dollop that in there. You want a good tablespoon of tomato puree. Grate in two fat cloves of garlic and I've put a tablespoon of paprika in there. Stir this mixture together. Put in a tin of plum tomatoes. Half a tin of water. I've just chopped those tomatoes up. I've got a drained 400 gram tin of chickpeas. Now I've chopped two peppers and one courgette. That's going to go in as well. Let's take it over. Straight in. Add your meat. Now I want this to be a complete dish. I don't want to fight about with anything else. So I'm putting some new potatoes in there as well. You don't have to, it's up to you. This is good with some couscous if you want to do that, but I'm putting some potatoes in. So this is a kilo bag of new potatoes. I've chopped them so that they're small. 
because we want it to all cook at the same time and we're just going to mix it all together make sure everything's coated in that tomatoey paprika -y goodness i've got a six and a half litre slow cooker so it's a big one if yours isn't this big um just half the ingredients or if you don't need as much just half it or you can do this in your oven just put your oven on low and just let it tick over now it's all mixed together you know that's going to be good because it looks delicious before it's even cooked i like to cover with foil and then put the lid on now my cooker's got two settings it's got a low and a high i'm going to cook it on high for two hours come back and have a look at it because we want to keep an eye on that moisture i don't want it dry and i don't want it too watery either so we might have to put a bit more water in We'll see how it goes, but we'll check that in two hours. If you've only got a low setting, it might just take a bit longer. Right, I've actually forgotten about this. How long has it been in? Half two, half three, half four. It's actually been in nearly three hours. So I'm gonna check it for the, the liquid. Don't give yourself a steam burn. Oh, it looks all right, I'll give it a stir. Oh, I'm happy with that. It doesn't need any more liquid in, just needs a stir up. The potatoes are almost done. But the meat isn't. So cover it back up. Put in a tablespoon of oregano. Alright, so I've added a tablespoon of dried oregano. I don't know whether that's Moroccan or not, but it'll taste nice. So pop that in. I'm going to cover it over, put the lid back on another couple of hours. So it'll have had five hours in total. I think that should do it. Now don't go saying that's not, that's not a traditional Moroccan casserole. They don't have pork in Morocco. They don't have oregano. I don't want to hear it. I'm not bothered. It's how I'm doing it in my kitchen today. Lamb is expensive at the minute. And pot, that piece of pork was five pound. Just out of Aldi, but it was five pound. And there's quite a few portions in there. Right, I've just got in from the gym. My kitchen smells lovely. I've got mascara all under my eyes. Been sweating. It smells lovely. This is bound to be ready. It's had five hours. So you could literally put it on and just go and get on with your day. Take the foil off. Oh, that looks nice. All bubbling. How nice does this look? Really colourful. Smells gorgeous. And let's just see how soft the camera's steaming up. Hang on. That's better. Look how soft that meat is, just breaks with the back of a spoon. You can't wait to have some of this. Let's have a taste of this. I'm going to serve it with some nachos and some sour cream. Let me just put a blob on. See what it's like. I'm starving, I'm always starving when I get in from the gym, but I'll taste this now and I'm going to go and have a shower. Look how soft that meat is. If you can hear panting, it's because Buddy's right underneath us. Oh, that's nice. So nice. So I'll put the recipe on at the end with exactly what I used and how long it took. That's the dogs are running about, they're having a mad half hour. But this, and I'll, I'll write down the price. I'll work out how much it's cost to make because I think we're all gonna have to tighten our belts, aren't we? And I think I'm gonna have to start doing more one pot dishes because with the gas and electric going up, it's gonna affect a lot of people, me included, so can be having this big oven on all the time. Stutch is having a drink. And just because you're eating on a budget doesn't mean you can't eat well. You absolutely can. So that's my mission, to get you all eating well for less. I would say this is made enough for six people. So, give it a go. 
you know you should this is super tasty super tasty if you don't like pork use lamb or beef i would say not chicken because it doesn't do well in the slow cooker unless it's thighs chicken thighs would go but yeah this is delicious ian's gone out but when he comes in he'll love that so will the girls and for the vegetarians i've done a little one with no meat in just veg and potatoes and chickpeas dead easy oh i'm gonna have to do you know what i'm gonna have to take the dogs out before i get in the shower they're too excited now i'm in anyways have a great night whatever you're doing and i'll see you soon don't forget to like and share and have a brilliant evening bye bye